I'm, I'm extremely lucky like to, to work with such a good athlete. Like, I feel that I, I'm lucky because since the moment I met him, I mean, Tommy, and this is something that is very important uh, with the question that he was asking me before about like juniors and stuff. Tommy, when he was a kid, he did like, he played every single sport out there. And, um, and for me, when, when the kids are young, that is one of the most important things that you can do because you get a lot of motor experiences, you know, different like experiences that you get to to read situations, to change direction, to work on different patterns and stuff like that. Um, I always tell that, you know, when we started working, Tommy used to do like preseason and then at night he would go play like three against three basketball like mm-hmm. for an hour and a half. And uh, so I'm very lucky, you know, like since the moment I started working with Tommy, it's kind of like, it's, it's easy. It's pretty a fairly easy job, you know. It's like mm-hmm. the guy you tell him to do this, or he does you well, you tell him to do that, or he does you well. So it's like, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. I'm, I'm pretty lucky in that sense. Uh, I think he's, you know, he's a really good, well-rounded athlete. For well, sure. Tommy murdered me in juniors in the grade five. Oh, yeah? Destroyed me, yeah, quick, quick. <laughs> but I find it's interesting with tennis because you have the players, like you described, like Tommy, who looks like a gifted athlete in, in any sport. You put Tommy to play any sport like you're describing, he's probably very good at it. Yeah. But then you have other players like... Her catch, maybe. I was going to say Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say Blaze. <laughs> like Blaze is an example where he's around 300 now in the world. I don't know if you know him. Blaze big now. He played Jamaica. with rival last week, actually. Yeah. yeah I so, watched him play. no offense to Blaze if you watch this, but like I'm <laughs> sure that if I put Blaze to play another sport, he doesn't look like the most gifted athlete. But if you see Blaze play tennis and you see him serve, and you see his hit the forehand with a crazy grip, or he has a short forehand, he's gonna step with the right foot, not <laughs> closed stance, and it's like it's not the most typical, but he does those things very well. And so I find it interesting is you can have a little bit of both, you know, like you have the people who are naturally gifted that they can do everything with the right form. But then you have the other people who maybe are not the most naturally gifted athletes, but they have certain weapons and certain game styles and so much belief in their, in their way of play that they're successful as well. You know what I mean? Uh, absolutely. I think that, you know, like the, I mean, what, what I meant with Tommy, you know, is that he has so many experiences when he was young. So it's something that actually, and he's gifted, but also, you know, you don't have to forget that he's an extremely hard worker player too. You know, he works hard and he's very detail oriented. Like when you ask him, you know, to get into certain details to correct and stuff like that, he does it really well. But then you have people, like you said, like, like him, like Blaze, that probably in this specificity, they're extremely good. And you have a lot exactly. of tennis. In tennis, you have a lot of early specificity. And... Um, which is fine. You have a lot of players that they have made it through early specificity and stuff like that. And so that's why where the argument can start. But I feel like a player that has been exposed to different um, sports and model experiences, the base of the pyramid is bigger. You know what I mean? So the way you can build up is also taller. When you have a player that is really good in the specifics, I think that the base of the pyramid of the basic movements is probably not as, as strong. So I feel like it's tougher to build certain things and to improve certain things. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm looking always into a complete athlete. Yeah, then, then you got people that is, as you say, like naturally talented or stuff like that. But when we're talking about like the, the experiences that they have when they're young and stuff like that, that's what that gives you. It gives you a base on the pyramid that allows you to build probably higher up, yeah. you know, compared to a person that goes straight into the specific and uh, and that's what he has done the, his whole life. Like we got a lot of that in tennis, you know, mm-hmm. kids that since they are five years old, they're like four hours on court, and they're like doing like fitness drills that are like specific for them, and they make it. They, yeah. they they can make it. Now I'm I'm thinking like beyond that. I'm thinking also how efficient he is as a mover to not get hurt. Like okay, like he's running from his change of direction. We we're working before and stuff like that, so he doesn't get hurt and he has a longer career. You know. Yeah. 